Questions. Question seven. Some people take iron tablets as a dietary supplement. Iron tablets may contain iron 2 sulfate. A student was investigating the iron 2 content of iron tablets. A work card gave the following instructions uh, for preparing the solution. Add five iron tablets to about 50 centimetres cubed of dilute sulfuric in a small beaker. Stir to dissolve. Transfer quantitatively to a 100 centimetre cubed volumetric flask. Make up the solution to the graduation mark. Stop with the flask and invert it to mix the solution. Okay, to transfer quantitatively means that all of the iron tablet solution must be transferred into the volumetric flask. Describe how it's carried out in practice. So this is just your making up a standard solution thing. So what you do is you transfer, oh, sorry, you transfer the initial, and then you have to transfer all your washings, washings and rinsings. And you're basically just trying to make sure that nothing is left in the beaker. And that's it. And also transferred. And obviously to, this is to the flask. Okay. Right. The concentration of iron two ions. Let me sorry, spin this down. In this iron tablet solution can be determined by redox titration with permanganate. Suggest why it is not necessary to add an indicator. Right? You just need to know this. That this uh, change is its own indicator. Okay. Uh, permanganate. changes colour in reaction. So basically it's its own its own internal indicator. Okay, it goes purple to colourless. Suggest why the titration must be carried out under acidic conditions. Right, you just have to look at the equation here. You know, equation needs hydrogen ions. That's it. Okay, three 25 centimetre cubed samples of the iron tablet were titrated with a standard solution of 0 0.02 molar permanganate. Results are shown below. State why the volume of permanganate used in the calculation was taken to be 15.55, although that's not the average of the three titers. Okay, 15.55 is the average of these two. So 14.9 is basically your rough um, and therefore shouldn't be counted in the calculation to get the, to get the average. Um, I like using terms so uh, so concordant results used for average is how I would have put it okay um, is this good for, yes it is calculate the concentration in moles per litre of iron two ions in the iron tablet okay so we could run this two different ways um, oh it'll fit and if I do that right that's fine um, okay we could do C1 V1 over N1 Oh, N1, definitely not N2. Uh, let me just clean that up. Um, that's not cleaned it up. Oh. And that's still an eraser. Uh, is equal to C2V2 over N2. Okay, our Ns are the mole constant, the molars in the equation. So we're looking at the mole ratio there. Uh, we're going to use C1 for the one we're trying to work out. And we were trying to work out the iron. So our volume of iron was 25. And our mole ratio here, we have five irons to one permanganate. So we're going to divide that by five. And our concentration of volume, 0 0.02 concentration of the permanganate. Um, we got from up here. Okay. Um, times by volume. And this time it's your tighter. So 14.55. And in the equation, I'd say that's a 1, so that doesn't even really matter. So my C1 is going to be 0 0.291 times by 5 and divided by 25. If I may rearrange. You could also rearrange this entirely first, so you don't have to put the numbers in. You could have rearranged for C1. Um, I, I find it easier to have the numbers, but you don't have to do it that way if you don't want to. 0 0.0582 moles per litre. Okay. You don't have to use that, that one if you don't want to. I'm super happy with still using normal ABC. So work out anything that you can work out. The only thing you can work out is your permanganate. Okay. You can work out moles of permanganate because you have concentration and volume. Concentration is 0 0.02. My volume is, shift it into litres, 0.01455, right on the edge of the screen. Um... Okay, which gives me 0 0.000291 
go to my balanced equation to get my ratio. Okay, my ratio is 1 to 5. That's permanganate to my iron. So times by 5 gives me 0 0.001455. And then do my final calculation. Um, I'm looking for a concentration, this one. So concentration of, of my iron is moles divided by volume. So 0 0.001455. Oh, this is so messy, sorry. Uh, divided by 0 0.025 because that's your initial constant volume for that one, sorry, and you get 0 0.0582 moles per litre. So two different ways of doing it, gives you exactly the same answer, uh, whichever way you work with, as long as you're absolutely certain you're not going to get it wrong. So um, you also, this could be a reasonable one to do as an internal check. If you've got time at the end, go back, work it the other way, just on rough working, and then if, it's, if you're happy with both, then you're good. Okay. State what's meant by the term standard solution. This is just a, a KU point, okay? We're just looking for accurately known concentration. So this is something that you have made up or you have been given, which is precisely um, what it says on the, on the label, okay? Name an appropriate piece of apparatus that would be used to measure uh, the 25 centimetre cubed sample. Um, that's just our pipette. And in a different experiment, five iron tablets were found to contain 0.00126 moles of iron to ions. Calculate the average mass in milligrams of iron present in one tablet. Okay. Right. The numbers are just going to get small, but you're just going to have to deal with that. Okay. Right. So we have 0 0.00126 moles in five tablets. Now you can do your division either at this start or at the end, but what you're going to calculate, remember it wants it in one tablet. So I'm just going to do my division now. So I'm just going to divide that by five. Uh, so what I actually have is 0 0.000252 moles in one tablet. It wants the mass. So mass is moles times formula mass. So 0 0.00252 times 55.8, which is the formula mass of iron, just straight from data book, gives me 0 0.0140616 grams. Uh, but it wants it in milligrams. Go to your data book if you're not sure, but you basically just have to uh, take this by three because you're just uh, times it by a thousand. So it is 14 milligrams. 14.1 okay it is recommended an adult female takes in 14.8 milligrams of iron per day 100 grams of a breakfast cereal contains 12 calculate the percentage of the recommended daily amount of iron provided for an adult female by a 30 gram serving okay this one's not too bad so 100 grams gives you 12 milligrams okay 30 grams therefore 30 divided by 100 times by 12 means that for each 30, I'm getting 13.6 milligrams. Okay, so I'm getting 13.6. So 3.6 divided by what I should get in total, 14.8 uh, times it by 100 means that this is giving 24, well, you know, Mark's scheme is 24.3 or 24%. Okay two marks I think it's not too bad for two marks as long as you keep everything um, clear it's pretty straightforward I think um, and that's the question